All right guys, so welcome to another video. I know this is late in the night and usually I don't release videos at this time, but something so exciting happened that I thought why wait till tomorrow morning? Let's install it and let's experience it and share it with our guys. So this is what we have. The first ever port of Android 13 for the Poco X3 Pro. I've installed it just like 15, 20 minutes back. I've been playing around with it. Of course, I've not ran the benchmarks, but in this video, we're going to have a quick first look at it. And towards the end of the video, I will also give you a guide on how to quickly go ahead and install it. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. And we have a giveaway going on. The link for the same is mentioned in the description. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So first things first, let's see on Telegram what exactly is happening. So we will go to this particular channel, which is the new channel. And uh, yeah, this is the port. So Google Pixel Beta port. Poco X3 Pro works on Y and Beema both. Build date is the 6th of May 2022. That is today, right? The download link is there. Initial Android 13 release based on Pixel 5 Redfin. That's an old, old device based on Android 13 Beta 1. April security patch includes G apps, firmware 12.0, flashing guide, check this, don't PM dev, report bug on this particular group. Right, now that's everything that is mentioned as far as the ROM is concerned. And I'll tell you this, I have flashed it on TWRP. It's a pretty straightforward process. And I'm really surprised by how good this is working. There are a couple of things which are not working, but most of them are pixel exclusives. And the team that has ported this have done a splendid job so kudos to them now will you ask me that what is the difference between android 12 and 13 now remember after android 11 most of the time the changes that you see are not visual they are under the hood changes but there are subtle changes here and there which will make the difference between android 12.1 and 13 for example as you can see the settings icon and the power menu is over here this i feel is a little off at the same time it is a good change because it used to be over here and that used to look weird i don't know if it will stay like this in the final version or not at the same time we do have internal and external screen recording so let's go ahead and start this this is the first time i'm trying this on camera so we will see if it is working or not okay very very slight jitter but most of the time this is very very smooth working fine let's go ahead and stop this and let's see if it is recording external audio or not okay wow this is pretty neat so even the screen recorder is doing a splendid job and while we look at the google photos application let me tell you that because this is a pixel port you do have unlimited storage for free in the storage saver quality. So all the pixel goodies is what you get in this particular update. If you flash it, I've tried making a call. I've not had any issues at all. The network is working fine. Mobile data is working fine. 5 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz, Wi-Fi is working fine. So all the basic, the absolute basic functionality is working absolutely okay. I've not had any issues. Monet UI is doing a splendid job. As you can see, you can choose different wallpapers here and they work like a charm. Just see how these themed icons and everything is quickly changing colors. And that is really, really interesting. The whole experience, I would say compared to Android 12.1 is a little more cohesive, a little more smooth. The only, you know, small workaround that these guys have used is this particular app that you see over here. You can select set 120 hertz, it will set 120. So we have the refresh rate on the screen now. As you can see, this is 120 hertz. So now let's set it to 90. The entire UI will be 90, which is still a good thing. You can also go ahead and set it all the way down to 60. So yeah, this particular toggle is working absolutely fine. And look at the Google feed. This is one of the smoothest experience I've seen in a long time, especially on ASP ROMs. Yes, you have a very smooth experience on Poco X3 Pro, but see how cohesively this is working. So that's absolutely nice. Pretty good smoothness over there. Apart from this, if you go to the edit menu, you will see that you not only have your privacy access styles, you have things like extra dim, the shortcuts for refresh rates, not a lot of customizations, of course, because this is pure Android 13 that we are talking about, right? 
Now, moving on, let's actually go to settings and explore because these apps that you see are the ones that I have used. I am going to run the benchmarks and probably I'll release a full video or make shorts. And uh, let me know in the comment section if you want me to go ahead and uh, try the gaming experience on this particular ROM. So that will be interesting as well. Anyways, let's actually go to settings over here. We will one by one go to each and every setting and uh, explore it. See if there are any changes compared to Android 12.1. So let's go to network and internet over here. You have calls and SMS, SIMs, hotspot, tethering. Everything looks almost exactly the same. There is adaptive connectivity over here. Bluetooth menu looks the same. No major changes over here. If you go to the apps section, I'm su surprised that you don't have the game menu over here, like the gaming mode. Under notifications, similar stuff. So I don't see any major differences compared to Android 12. You have things like enhanced noti notifications and sensitive notifications if you go to the battery menu you have the battery percentage option battery usage is something i cannot comment on right now charging speed is something i cannot comment on right now sound and vibration both the speakers are working fine so no problem there the haptics are working absolutely okay if you go to the display menu you do have lock screen customization just like in usp android up your android moving on you have dark team as an option which looks really really great display size in text auto rotate screen now this option over here smooth display right now it's not working remember you have to use that app to toggle the refresh rate but maybe later it should be working fine and tap to wake yes it is working fine wallpaper in style we've already checked so you know nothing new there under accessibility yeah i don't really go to that menu that much so you have the complete security suite over here as you can see now moving on if you go to privacy you do have your privacy dashboard which is as always, just like Android 12 or 12.1. Location, safety and emergency, passwords and accounts, no major changes there. If you go to system, you do have your gestures. Quick tap, of course, is not working because it works on Pixel devices. It works on the Poco X3 Pro with some custom ROMs, but for now on this particular port, it's not working. No complaints there. Splendid job. System update, of course, it will not work because this is not a Pixel right but if you ask me you know for a first port this is brilliant job done by the team and uh, everything almost you know you can definitely use this as a daily driver because if i tell you even if you go to the google play store and you go to the play store settings you do have a device certification which means safety net is taken care of widevine l1 and stuff is probably when i'll do a complete review of this i'll try to use this for a couple of days and see if can be used as a daily driver or not for now this is android 13 beta on the poco x3 pro before we end the video you want to know how to install it right it's very very straightforward there is just one app that is needed if you're not on mio at 12.0 or something otherwise just need to have 12.0.4 or 5 whatever works for you for your region firmware and the rom take it to recovery wipe flash format data and you're good to go make sure you remove all the passwords and lock screen make sure you you know backed up all the information and make sure you have more than 50 percent battery a very very straight forward flashing process so no rocket science there let me know in the comment section what do you think about android 13 how excited are you until the next one this is kailash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye